Many instrument pilots find themselves on an approach and asking, why isn't my glide slope active? We're on approach to Cumberland, Maryland, the RNAV to runway 23. We're highlighting the G1000 here, and every unit behaves a bit differently, but the general sequence will be the same and serve to illustrate the point. To start, we're on the leg from the Kadir fix inbound to Cetus, the intermediate fix at 5400 feet. The approach has been pulled up and is active. Our autopilot is set to approach mode following the GPS course guidance and arm to capture the glide path. On the right side, we see vertical guidance, but this isn't the glide path yet. The pink V means this is what Garmin calls vertical track. It assists us in making a continuous descent to hit all our step-down altitudes at Cetus and Wanvu prior to the glide path intercept at Wuvuk, but it's not the glide path. Some units you're flying won't have vertical track and so nothing will be displayed here, or the vertical needle on your VOR head will simply not be active yet. If you look closely at the top, you can sort of see where the glide path indicator is hiding there, that half diamond. But when the sideways pink V or carrot comes to center, the autopilot isn't going to capture it and follow it down like it would for the real glide path. We need to descend ourselves down to the step down of 3800. Now, we're going down to 3800 approaching Wanvu. This isn't where glide path intercept happens though. It happens at 3400 nearer at Wuvuk. So we still don't see a glide path indicator. The pink V means we're still on vertical track. Also, the GPS is still showing terminal mode. The mode tells us what the course sensitivity is. On the final approach segment, this will read LPV or whatever type of GPS approach we'll be doing. It's usually around this time that pilots start to freak out that they haven't properly activated the approach. But don't worry, the glide path won't come alive until we're on the leg to the final approach fix. As we pass Wanvu, we're now on that leg to the intercept and watch how the mystery diamond from before now turns into the familiar pink diamond of the glide path. Also, that pink V on top is replaced by G for glide path. Finally, the GPS mode is indeed switched over to LPV for the final approach segment coming up. All is well. When we intercept, the autopilot goes into glide path mode and takes us down on the approach. While this glide path activation issue is true for all RNAV approaches, it can really become annoying on approaches like this one, where there are multiple fixes before the glide path intercept, and there's just a tiny two mile segment leading up to the intercept. Not much time to get comfortable if you're not expecting something. If these tips are helpful, check out Flight Insight, Full IFR Ground School, and more today at the link here or in the description.